Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Math Blog. This lesson is uh, from Module 3 for our 8th grade textbook, and uh, this is Lesson 3.1, Representing Proportional Relationships. Okay, proportional relationships, they always graph a line, and it always goes through the origin. We'll talk about that, okay? All right, so here's our, our common course strand for our most grooviest teachers right here. So, which is, we're going to graph proportional relationships. We're going to interpret what the unit rate as slope of the graph is, which is, we'll talk about that. And we're going to compare two different proportional relationships in different ways. So, our question, how can we use tables, graphs, and equations uh, to represent proportional relationships? Okay, so here we go. So, uh, representing proportional relationships with tables. Okay, now in 1870, the French writer, sorry if I don't pronounce this right, I'm sure I didn't, so J Jules Verne, I guess, or Verne, or I don't know, uh, published 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is one of the most popular science fiction novels ever written. One definition of a league is a unit measure that equals three miles, so every league represents three miles. So let's complete the table here. So each league represents three miles. So this league represents three miles. So two leagues would represent uh, two times three. Okay, six leagues would represent six times three and so on. But before we fill in this table, always, 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 this is our X axis right here and this is our Y axis right here. Okay, so these are always our X numbers, the top row. And these are always our Y numbers, the bottom row. Think alphabetical order, you guys. X comes before Y in the alphabet. So the top row is going to be our X's and the bottom row will be our, our Y's right there. Okay, so put the X, Y's in there and then we'll just start going. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and so on. So, whoops, I guess I went across the top here. So what times 3 equals 36? Well, 12 times 3, so this would have to be 12 leagues to give us 36 miles. Okay, so distance in leagues distance in miles and we just keep multiplying by three because it says one league equals three miles all right let's keep going so two times three this will be six right here six times three is 18 12 times three is 36 and 20 times 3 is 60, so 20,000 times 3 is 60,000 right there, okay? All right, let's just slide that up, okay? So uh, what relationship do you see about the numbers in the tables? Okay, well, every number in the bottom row is 3 times the number in the top row, okay? So uh, so they want us to reduce all of these. So here's 3 over 1. That just equals 3 over 1. I'm, that's all I'm going to put in there. And then let's do this one. So what over 2? Notice we're doing distance in miles over distance in leagues okay that's where this three over one came from from this three over one so this one's going to be six over two so six over two this one's going to be 18 over six that's what goes right here 18 over six okay 36 over 12 that's what goes right there and then Okay, distance in miles, 60,000 over 20,000. So let's just go through. 3 over 1 um, equals 3 over 1. 6 over 2, that reduces to 3 over 1. Okay, so 3 goes into this, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, 2 goes into this 3 times, 2 goes into this 1 time. So that equals 3 over 1. Okay, so does, um, uh, let's put in 18 over 6. So that's what goes right here, 18 over 6. And that also is going to reduce to 3 over 1. They want you to recognize all of these reduce to 3 over 1. 36 over, okay, over 12, okay, so 36 over 12 reduces to 3 over 1, okay, and then finally 60,000 over 20,000 reduces to 3 over 1. So that is our, what's going to be called our constant of proportionality, we'll talk about in just a second right here. So what did you notice about these ratios? They're all reduced to 3 over 1. All right, so if you know the distance between two points in leagues, how can you find the distance in miles? You just multiply that distance in leagues by three. And what if you know the distance in two points in miles? How do you find the distance in leagues? Well, we just go backwards and divide by three, divide that distance by three. Okay, all right, so, um, uh, so when we represent proportional relationships with equations, the ratio of the distance in miles to the distance in leagues is constant, okay? So that if it's constant, then that relationship is said to be proportional, all right? And then a proportional relationship is a relationship between two quantities in which the ratio of the quantity to the other is always the same. In the last uh, uh, example, we, it always gave us 3 over 1. 
Okay, so a proportional relationship can be represented by the equation y equals kx, where k is the number uh, called the constant of proportionality, okay? And that last one, it was 3 over 1, okay? So k, k is always equal to y over x. Remember, this is the bottom row, this is the top row, okay? k is always equal to y over x, okay? So if you know what y and x are, then that goes right here to write our equation, y equals kx, okay? Remember, k is equal to y over x right here, okay? So, here we go. Megan earns $12 an hour at her part-time job. Show that this relationship between the amount she earns and the number of hours she worked is a proportional relationship, and then write an equation for that relationship, okay? So, let's make a table that relates the amount earned to the number of hours, okay? So, the amount earned to the number of hours. Remember, this is going to be our X right here, and this is going to be our Y's right here. Okay, so make a table relating the amount earned to, um, oops, i got to put in my mouse. My, my mouse gets a little goofy sometimes. Hold on here. Let me just plug that in. Okay, so, uh, okay, so um, this is our X. This is our Y right here. Let's go ahead and plug that in right there. Okay, all right, so for each hour, so, so if, she, if she worked one hour, then she's going to get 12 bucks. Two hours, she's going to get uh, 2 times 12, which is 24. Okay, so put the 12 in, put the 24 in. 4 times 12, so if she works, works 4 hours, she gets uh, uh, $12 each hour, so 4 times 12 is 48. 8 times 12 is 96. Okay, so there's our table right there. Alright, so and then for each number of hours, write the relationship of the amount earned and the number of hours as a ratio in simplest form. So it's going to be the amount earned, notice that's y, to the number of hours, that's x. So we're going to put these numbers on top and these numbers on bottom right there, okay? So it's going to be 12 over 1, 24 over 2, 48 over 4, 96 over 8, okay? Remember, that's going to give us our, our k, okay? So 12 over 1 just simplifies to 12 over 1. How about 24 over 2? Well, that reduces to 12 over 1 also. So does 48 over 4. So does 96 over 8. Those all give us the ratio 12 over 1, okay, which is 12, which is K, okay? So let's write the equation, okay? So X is the number of hours and Y is the amount earned, okay? Remember, this is always X. X represents the number of hours. Y is the amount earned, and so our equation is going to be Y equals KX, where k is our constant of proportionality. So here's k right here. So our equation is just y equals 12x right there, okay? So y equals 12x is our, is our answer right there. Yeah? Okay, pretty cool. I tell my kids, I always say, okay, say yes, because they just sit there like zombies sometimes. So, so I make them say yes. So I just did that with my IM2, Integrated Math 2 class, uh, last period. So... Anyways, it's period one now. It's my prep period, and that's about the only time I can do this. I was going to do this yesterday, and my dog had a sprained leg, so I had to take him to the vet yesterday. So here I am on my prep period. Describe two real... I usually do it after school or in the mornings or on the weekends and stuff, but I just I can't get this in. I've had this lesson sitting here for about four days. And Anyways, so describe two real-world quantities with a proportional relationship that can re be represented uh, by the equation y equals 25x. Well, think of anything that's, you know, something that's times 25, like money, like quarters, okay? So here, I'm going to let x equal the amount of money in quarters and y equal the same amount in cents. So y would equal 25 times the number of quarters. Okay, so y would equal 25x would be that one right there. So uh, quarters is 25 cents. Um, so anyway, one quarter equals 25 cents. So two quarters equals two times 25 cents and so on. All right, so 15 bicycles are produced each hour at the Speedy Bike Works. So show that this relationship between the number of bikes produced and the number of hours is a proportional relationship and then write an equation. So we'll do the same thing we did in the last one. We'll make a table for the number of bikes to the number of hours, okay? The number of bikes to the number of hours, okay? So here's the number of bikes to the number of hours. This is my X numbers right here going across the top and this will be my Y number. So I like to put X and Y next to it. Your textbook doesn't, but I like to, okay? All right, for each number of hours, write the relationship for the number of bikes, 
Okay, the relationship for the number of bikes and the number of hours as a ratio in simplest form. So we're going to do the number of bikes to the number of hours. We want to get it in the form of y over x. So that will give us our, our k. It always gives us our k. So the number of bikes to the number of hours. I just did 15 over 1, 30 over 2, 60 over 4, 120 over 8. That's at all these numbers. Okay, All of these reduce to 15 over 1, which is just 15. That is k. So y equals kx. Our equation is y equals 15x. Okay? Easy, huh? I hope so. All right, so um, uh, we're going to do this with graphs. So we can represent proportional relationships with a graph, okay? And the graph will always be, as long as it's a proportional relationship, it'll always be a line, a line that goes through the origin, okay? Always goes through the origin for proportional relationships. So here's a graph that goes through the origin. It's a line that goes through the origin. And this graph shows the relationship between the distance in miles to the distance in uh, measured in leagues. Remember, the leagues was the top numbers right here. That's the x-axis. This is always our x-axis. This is always our y-axis, okay? So one league represented three miles. One league was three miles. Two leagues represented six miles. So over here is our leagues. Here is our miles, okay? Three leagues represented nine miles, okay? Notice it goes through zero. Zero leagues represents zero miles, okay? So um, uh, let's just, uh, we're, now we're going to write an equation for that relationship, okay? Here's another one, the moon in weight. Let me back up for a second. I'm going to go here. So this graph shows the relationship between the weight of an object uh, on the moon as it weighs on Earth, and write an equation. So here's the Earth weights down here. That's our x-axis. That's going to be our top numbers in the row. Here's the, the y-axis right here. That's the bottom number in the row. So for, it looks like every six pounds on Earth, six pounds on Earth, we get it weighs one pound on the moon, okay? So 12 pounds on Earth gives us two pounds on the moon. 18 pounds on the earth gives us three pounds. Here's uh, 30 pounds gives us five pounds. So, so we're going to make a table. Okay, so here's our table right here. Okay, notice this is the y number, so that'll be these bottom numbers right here. Okay, so here this is one, or this is six comma one. Okay, so over six up one over 12 up 2, so 6, 1, 12, 2, 18, 3, 35. Remember, these are my x's, these are my y's. Whenever you have a table, always that top row is your x's and your y's. Okay, so here k is the constant of proportionality. So we're going to do uh, the moon weight over the earth weight. We're always going to do y over x. That's always our k y over x so it's the bottom numbers over the top numbers right there okay always 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 all right so we get one over six okay so one over six and then this is going to be two over twelve okay so two over twelve is also one over six three over eighteen is one over six that is k this time one over six okay so our equation is y equals kx so y equals one six x is going to be our equation on that. All right. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense and, and take care.